Welcome. I'm very excited to present to you six random boxes. Now, these six random boxes may or may not include some very interesting modifications for the E90-325. We're gonna go through these in sequential order. I think you can sort of tell maybe two of these or three, at least where they come from or what they are. Uh, we're gonna be opening these up in sequence and you guys are gonna be along for the ride. So I hope you enjoy this. Okay, it's gonna be very difficult to do this with one hand, but we are game. What do we got here? Okay, we have some BC BR coilovers. These should be very, very interesting. I have to say the box is not exactly light. We're looking at probably 30 or 40 pounds. I was actually sort of shocked how heavy this was. But man, look at that. That is pretty sweet. Nice, I think I just ordered uh, OEM versions of these guys, but nonetheless, that's fine. Looks like we have some shock mounts maybe, or bushings, I don't know what that is. We're gonna discover it. Here we go. These are actually really nice. Wow. The metal looks like it's really nicely done. The finish is impeccable. Wow, these are really, really nice. Box number two, there's really not much to open here. As I mentioned, the customs people went through this, so it's, I mean, the UPS guy pretty much brought this in as is. It was just uh, in tatters. So underneath here somewhere, there is a, it should be pretty much a full blown exhaust. Looks like a muffler hanger. Oh yeah, these guys did a number on this, my god. Ooh. Well, that's sort of the money shot. That's pretty much what everybody's gonna see at the end of the car. These are the tailpipes. So as I mentioned, this is a Becker exhaust. I think this came from Germany. Really difficult to do with one hand. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we can see some of the welds already. This is really nicely done. It's actually not that done. You know what? Let me just pause here for a second and get this out of the box. Okay, guys, we just got that packaging material out of the way. Again, the box was completely tattered from the customs. All right, so here's the situation. So we have a Becker exhaust for an E90. And what this, what this is gonna look like is as follows. So you have the two uh, sections that are gonna attach to the individual headers or the, the collectors, whatever you wanna call them. That's gonna go down to the bottom here. We're gonna leverage some of these clamps and then that gets slotted into this section up top. That's gonna to go down over here. And these two flanges are pretty much gonna connect like this, which then leads out to the exit or the exhaust. Um, again, this setup is really, really nice. I think I paid about $1,000 for this. The welds are actually pretty nice. I don't know if this thing can focus very well. Um, I'm actually very, very pleased with this. Um, the reason I got this, I mean, aside from wanting to have the car sound pretty badass, the issue is I have a bit of a rattle coming from the, um, from the middle section, and I think I actually blew out my primary cats, or at least one of them. Um, it's actually rattling pretty bad. I'll probably splice in a, uh, a clip of that just so you can hear what that sounds like. It's, it's really bad. 
also the noise from the exhaust. You can't hear it as much inside the car, but as soon as I crack the window open or I'm accelerating or anything like that, or, you know, or open the door. So you can't hear much at idle, but listen. gonna go with the exhaust we're just gonna completely swap out the stock system but yeah that's gonna be very very awesome I'm super excited to get these on the car the car is gonna sound extremely loud you may notice that there's obviously something that needs to be attached here which is the headers we're gonna get into that in a second okay the next box here is from our dear friends at FCP Euro I must be one of their best customers right now. I mean, it's ridiculous how many things I've had to do to this car since getting it. I'm not bitter, I'm just, I'm just disappointed. Okay, so what we have here are Zimmerman, and Akebono uh, in terms of a combo. So that's gonna be absolutely amazing. If you've seen some of my previous videos, I have a huge problem with brake dust. And it's incredibly visible when you get some silver rims. I mean, you can just see these things going crazy with the, with the dust. So here we go, Akebonos. These are world famous and they are just incredible. Uh, one of my friends that has an S4, Swears by these bad boys, and here they are. It's actually really nice quality, too. Wow. Look at that neat. All right, that's box number three. Okay, box number four. This one got a little bit more beat up than I would like, but nonetheless, let's move on. Okay, so it's not gonna be a secret. This is just, I believe, the rears because there's no way that those that those other calipers over there, or I should say those brake rotors over there are for the rear. They're just way too big. Okay, we also have some um, uh, brake pad wear sensors. And the reason for this is I accidentally reset my brakes and now I have a little um, exclamation point on my dash. I can maybe show you uh, what that looks like in a moment. But um, yeah, so this is, this is a solid kit from FC Piero. This is not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. I think all in I paid about $400 for this and uh, it's, been, it's been quite pricey. So this is just the uh, the front and the rear, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I'm gonna open these up in a second and be right back. So that's the light that I was talking about. You cannot get rid of this. I mean, it's just gonna stay there forever. So we're gonna be doing those rear, uh, or I should say just brake pad wear sensors. Yeah, I'm not so sure anymore. These could be the front or the rear. Um, the slotting at the front here, or maybe not even slotting, I'm not even sure. We're gonna have to check. But anyways, this is what they look like. The brake pads are the brake pads. You've seen the other ones here. Okay, let's move on to the next boxes. Okay, this one is also from Germany. It came from Team Too Fast in Deutschland. So we're gonna check this out. I could not find any reviews for this, but I'm gonna show you what this is real quick. Okay, ta-da, surprise, I guess. All right. Okay, so what these are, are N52, N52 headers. Um, 
they are intended to obviously go with that kit over there and uh, the intent is to help with the flow um, for the most part if you read kind of what's possible on n52s especially 325s because they have some uh, i think they have a bit of a, a constrictive exhaust um, unless you get headers you're pretty much you're going to be looking at maybe three or four wheel horsepower, maybe five with the with the exhaust or cat back or anything like that. However, if you do the headers and go all the way back, you're potentially looking at anywhere from 15 to 25 rear wheel horsepower. I did some math. I'm hoping to hit another 17. So that'll put us at like around 237, maybe 240 uh, rear wheel horsepower on this thing. That should be absolutely fantastic. I forgot to mention I paid about $290 for this. Um, I'm going to see what this is like and we're actually going to test out how these guys perform. I can definitely tell that the welds are well done, or at least it looks like it's careful, carefully done I should say. Um, this should be really, really interesting. I hope to be the first person to actually review the Team Too Fast headers. Um, they're a fraction of the cost and they are exactly what you think they are. They are eBay headers. They are just eBay headers. We're going to take our chances here. Okay, moving on to the last box. Or is it? Move on. Anyways, we're going to just check this out real quick. See what we got. So what we have here is Max Gear from Royal Purple. Um, we're gonna also be doing some work on the rear diff. This is very, very cool stuff. I'm very excited. And to actually tell you, I'm uh, gonna be doing a bit of a limited slip conversion. So um, we're gonna use a company that's based out of Serbia. Um, they're very cool guys. They sent me over a clutch pack and conversion for my E90. I'm going to show you that in the next video, but for now, here's the stuff that we got. So we have diff fluid, we have headers, we have rear and front or front and rear brakes. Uh, mine were squealing a little bit, plus the brake dust was just driving me crazy. We have a full exhaust and we have BC Racing BR coilovers. I am so excited to get this going. It's just about springtime right now, so um, I, I can't wait to show you what this is going to look like on the car. And I'm going to do some uh, great videos for you coming up. Thank you.